because I think the run is a little bit easier. And maybe the first like minute or two is just so boom, 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 uh, 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 yeah, 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 what, oh, boom, ah. Good. Okay. Hey. Ooh, off day. It is hot and sometimes. It's been on the ass, bitch. I'm on the rail. I wrap it, I bag it up. That's cute. This is not intended for sales. They might. You want to get a representative? Come to my section and flex. We can tell. I got a show where she dipping them nails. I'm flipping my L's. I know they can. Aww. Wish you were a little baby again. All right, here we go. Um, first one, I really think that just like any job, you need off days, but the thing about daily is like you don't have an off day. So you need to figure out a time, like not a time, a day or two days where you're able to have very simple films. morning um <laughs> i did not get a chance to put the camera on the charger last night i did an import footage last night what is up guys will mostly here i create lots of delicious content about daily vlogging um social media all that in between and I just want to provide as much value as I can today on like how to keep up with daily vlogging. There's a lot of, well here, there's a lot of tips and tricks on how to daily vlog, but there honestly aren't that many about how to keep on the path, keep on track with vlogging. Like, because it's a real thing. Like you do one, then you get two out, and then all of a sudden you're doing three and it becomes a pain. It becomes like, oh shit, I'm like three hours behind. I'm six hours behind. I'm like a whole day behind. And it can be, it can be exhausting. It can be exhilarating. It can be like stressful, anxiety ridden. And so I want to provide some tips that I've come up with just by going through the paces that if you're just starting out or you've fallen off the, tr the boat like 15 bajillion times, maybe this will help you stay on track. All right, we are jumping into the edit now and I am here for it. Like I am here, like I just tried a different... Baby's not going all over different right off place. And it's, uh... Yeah, that's what you have. In your seat, you guys. Are... Dad, it's for kids and babies. It's for babies. Yep. It's for little kids like Maverick and Eddie. babies. No, nope. and I can is this the one that you're wanting? Well, look, it lays down. This is what's important. Watch your fingers. Uh, too, because you could say I'm down for like a nap. And I can just wheel it around. Got the stroller for baby looks. I'm doing one of those today where uh, I call it five minute Friday and it's pretty much on Thursday, which is today. I just turn the camera on. I record for five minutes. I don't try to change any settings. I don't try to push any buttons or do anything. I just try to convey honest, real thoughts about X topic or about what's been going on in my life. Almost like, hey, catch up with Will. Like, let's catch up. Let's have a, a powwow, like a face-to-face. -face. Like, let's just Give me some time and talk to mommy and figure it out, but don't worry. We'll do something cool. Want a Chuck E. Cheese for your family day? Like a tiny bit of help. No, people would definitely come here just for someone on a less busy day. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Like, baby Lux had to sit somewhere. I know what she, she had to be in a comfy spot, so he choose this one. Well, it does look pretty cozy. But maybe this one, because it's got 
Um, it might take a little bit of time because he has the little uh, bottles, but soon. And what up, leaf bro blower? Uh, and honestly, I found like there, a lot of people have told me that like those are some of their favorite. Those are some of their favorite vlogs that I've done because I think it's just real, honest human connection, and it's the easiest thing to do. Like you turn on your phone, you turn on your, you know, camera, whatever, set whatever settings you're gonna do, and press record, and then the whole, pr there's no, the whole thing about Five Minute Friday is that you don't have any editing. A lot of times with these films, the hard part is editing everything together. Like you, so you're filming, that's the hard part, and then you have to go in and edit for several hours, and if you're already way behind on days, or on like the, like the day-to-day -day, like you can't it's just impossible to keep up that momentum don't make a mess yeah that is like a play stroller like a pretend stroller for like baby dolls so, pretty much, once you're done with that clip, and you can record more than five minutes if you want, like, that's up to you, whatever, who cares, you know? Like, you record 10 minutes, you record whatever, whatever feels good to you. You can, you start talking, you talk for at least five minutes, and then if you want to turn the camera off, great. If you want to keep on talking, whatever. You don't you're not gonna you're not gonna bring this into Final Cut or Premiere Pro. You're not gonna do any of that. You're just going to bring it to your computer, name it something, and press upload to YouTube. The only other thing that you have to do, of course, is make a thumbnail and come up with a catchy title. But that at least saves you three hours of just being behind. Okay, uh, I'm realizing how important autofocus is for daily vlogging like the point of daily vlogging is not for things to be like look absolutely perfect it's just like to show up give value and yes you're trying to make the best film you can but like the reality is is anything that's causing you to take an extra five ten seconds is slowing you down especially in <laughs> especially with daily vlog and then the second like day that I would say would be more like just a Q and A. And this could be a way of you sourcing um, comments or sourcing questions, uh, or even just going and looking up a lot of commonly asked questions on say vlogging and just going through and giving your thoughts and your opinion on those things. And that's the same format. You're pressing record, you're letting people know like, yo, this is a vibe and chill day. I'm just doing my thing. Um, and then that will literally give you two days, almost like a weekend. So I'm gonna pretty much try to make this, I gotta finish up the film from yesterday. I'm gonna try to make this first, cut these three or four minutes down to one minute and make it the most engaging. I don't know why they painted it white. Maybe Looks a little maybe weird. The other one was saying the other <laughs> What are they choosing? Hi, Daddy. Start thinking Hi, Daddy. Hey. Let's go find it. Can I get older like you? Can I, can I go to the store myself about about grown-ups? Yes, you can. Two you is you're going to have to sacrifice you're going to have to sacrifice quality when it comes to daily vlogging. That's a fact that I am facing and I don't know who I looked at. It, I can't remember the name of the, the, the YouTuber, but you can still provide quality or you can still provide value, you can still provide, um, like you can still have a catchy personality, and you can also have very catchy editing. Wow. Tondo, <gasps>
You like that one? Oh, mama. E.T. over here it says, which one? It's just, it just said sold separately. Those Availability is pretty much just telling you that the there are certain things that might not come with it. Footage that you're recording, whatever you're using to record, that you can kind of be in control of, that you can add um, to m spice it up and make it better than what, you know, it would have been. You know, when to, like I, because I'm used to, like, I'm used to shooting a lot of really crispy B roll stuff and just like adding a lot of soundtracks. I'm honestly like sound, sound design, not like, but like actual like lyrics in my films are super important to me. But I, that takes almost double the amount of time, probably more, to kind of find the songs, add that in, like really get it in. And it's just not feasible right now. Yeah, I'll help you build it. So that's another thing, lower the bar, allow yourself to lower the bar on the daily vlogging. Like you can have your main channel like we talked about in the previous films where you have like your really good nice dope films but like lower the bar a little bit for daily because it's more about consistency having authentic conversation with people on the other side and just like being a normal human being um you are not a an engine and your day also probably isn't that crazy exciting every single day. I'm thinking a lot about like the use, like the format of daily vlogging. And the more and more I think about it, the more I think like having just good autofocus, like auto, pretty much the settings on auto. And it's much more like a, like a dialogue. Like with the vlogging, like there's not that tremendous amount of things that happen. Third tip, really, if you ha if you want to spice your vlogs up, which by the way I do, and so this is a learning process. If you want to spice them up, I'd say don't try to spice up the entire vlog. And I know that's like the goal you want to do that, but don't don't do that spice up the first minute or two like take that time like when you're editing together this thing like edit maybe set a timer for 30 minutes where it's like i'm gonna do some hardcore fucking like this is gonna be delicious as but like let's go let's get this right here it's more honestly just using my iphone uh makes a lot of sense all right it's been like since i was a kid since i've played Pokemon so I just bought this is the only one they had there no clue if it's a good one or not but it'll be good just to start to learn so maybe it's that and then it kind of starts to calm down a little bit because that's what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to show off some of your editing skills keep people engaged initially for them to stay for you to actually talk about some good stuff and and like we said, we can't we can't edit. We can't make this entire thing like crazy good. So let's make the first like few minutes good, like really good in editing, and but make sure our value content is good throughout. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to learn right now. Now that I think about it, I'll save that. Is that cute? Oh, I like this one. A lot. I like really. I like this one. It's good. We both like got two. Um, and I think that'll maybe satisfy that little itch where it's like, I really want to. But once that timer goes off, then the rest of the film is like, that's it. There. That's good. That, what do you want from me? Show up tomorrow. <laughs> you know, get out of here. So that's what I'm thinking, right? We have a fourth tip that I can throw at you for staying consistent. Okay. Noticing when things are moving, when things are getting behind, like seeing that and then really thinking about why those things are getting behind. Because this is a daily is actually an exercise. It's like a decision making process 
where it's like, okay, if I have to sacrifice this, if I have to do that, I need, I want to spend time here with these family members or with like, so figuring out what is made, what messed up your last film and then learning from that and then adjusting that over and over and over and over again. And I think that honestly will make your format like unique to you because there aren't that many people that daily vlog. Originally I was gonna talk about like how to vlog, but I'm gonna save that for another time when I have like more, like more capacity. This is like an off day. Like there were a lot of people that daily vlogged, but there aren't as many today. And I think that your, the filming style that you use is going to then fit to that, fit into that realm and will then be fairly, I, would, I wouldn't say super unique, but like it will become you. That's what I'm finding. I'm looking up best practices for YouTube and how to like really make this stuff vibe. And then I'm adjusting what that advice to the daily format and then to me being a father. And then with that, it's like a, like a recipe type thing. This is just, um, try to end each night with maybe like a, a reflection. Um, just something like about the day. I feel really good. How many kids just have an ultimately good family day? Like, I was worried that it wasn't actually going to happen the way we anticipated. And it seems, at least for the majority of it, it went really well. Self-reflecting on the vlog, I definitely put a lot of pressure on myself today to get this one out. I mean, in a sense, I am glad that I did, I gotta turn towards the light, that I did do it because I think this growth with vlogging is necessary. It is something that I've just given up. Whenever like second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever day came, I just kind of gave up because the pressure became too immense instead of figuring out how to adjust in a way that will that will make it sustainable. 